You must have had a wonderful Mother's Day. You have like nine I did. children. How many children do you I have? have? Thirteen. No, I have four. You have four children. <laughs> and because uh, every time I said this is the first time you've been here, I think I'm not, not joking. This might be the first time that you've not been pregnant. Probably you're always pregnant when you're here. So you have four children. How old are they? Eight and a half, four and a half, uh, two and three quarters, and and forty five, and forty five, <laughs> and nine months. Wow. And and you're doing. Thank you. And you're busy. That's you're amazing. Busy. Yeah, I didn't, so, um, I didn't even know when Mother's Day was, and then I panicked, and I, I saw something that said, like, oh, this Mother's Day tea thing, May 4th. So I was like, great. Hey, Paul, um, Mother's Day's on May 4th. And he's like, oh, we better do something. It was the wrong weekend. It was. <laughs> but it was good. I kind of had two Why Mother's did you Days. have to plan a Mother's Day? Wouldn't somebody do I that for you? I think that's kind of appropriate for Mother's Day. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Like, don't, I think don't every mom I talked to was like, and then I had to plan it. But no, <laughs> no, it, actually, that, that part was planned for me. And are you driving uh, the children around in a large station wagon type vehicle? Oh, it's, a, it's like a straight up minivan. You do have a minivan? Yeah, like for real. <laughs> like, a, like a, it's not even just like, it, it's your, your life changes when you own a minivan because it just becomes a party bus. It's just like <laughs> everybody just hops in and went, right? It feels like you're going to the prom, except there's like a lot of bags that look like this in the back. Uh huh. And like a lot of crumbs and weird toys and like one sock. <laughs> And then, like, when, I, when we first, right? Sounds like my car, my own yeah. car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you were here. Just... Most people do. <laughs> it's, um, it's a delightful way to travel. Good. Have you had it for long, or did you decide finally after the fourth child to buy a minivan? After the third child. Mm -hmm. Or uh, upon uh, welcoming the third child, we thought it would be smart to have a vehicle that we could all get in at the same Instead time. Instead of driving separately. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Make a right at the gas station. Uh, <laughs> follow me. They're just like, like, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I have to congratulate Sean. Uh, Sean's show, he executive produces Grimm, and it just got picked up for the fourth season. Congratulations on that. Thank you, thank you, yes. Everybody watch the finale this Friday. The finale's this Friday. Yes. Find out what happens. It's, a, it's such a good show. Thanks. And uh, before we run off, because we're running out of town, I understand, uh, uh, town? Uh, Are we running out of town? <laughs> no. Let's I mean, get in the, yes. Let's Let's get get it the minivan. Let's get in the minivan. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm looking for an extra sock, so that's perfect. Um, you, you do an impression of Downton Abbey, I, I understand. Oh, yeah, we were talking about impressions before. Um, Countess Crawley. Do you watch Downton Abbey? Yeah. <laughs> Countess Crawley. By the way, I'm horrible at impressions, so this is like the funny this. version of a bad impression. Um, oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary, I can't believe we have to sell the estate, Mary. What? No, anybody? Oh, you sound like Jack, that's, Jack that's, A from 227. Yeah, that's <laughs> Mary. <laughs> that's what she sounds like. Yeah. I've not seen the show, but that's not good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that, that can't be how she sounds. I'm gonna Come guess, on. I'm going to guess he's getting down to Nabby confused with 227. I think it is. I think that is Jack A. Yeah. All right. Then let me do Jack A. Okay. Mary. 